Hey guys, what's up? Furious here. Today I'm just gonna be showing you guys how you can downgrade your Beat Saber version from basically whatever you have right now to even the oldest version of Beat Saber or even just a few updates back in case you want to play with mods again after the game updates. Now just to eliminate any confusion on this, you can only do this if you're running the game off of Steam. So even if you have an Oculus headset and you're running it off of Steam, you're totally fine. But if you're running it off the Oculus software, you cannot do this. And also, in case this method does not work, I will probably make a new video on this. So yeah, it should appear at the top right right now, in case there is a new video on this. So yeah, if you see it at the top right, go ahead and click that. But if it's not, then basically this method still works. And if it doesn't, tell me in the comments. Oh, and before we begin, I just want to fully credit this person called StepS. They are the ones who made this entire Steam guide, so yeah, full credits goes to them, because this is basically the Steam guide I will be referencing for this entire video. So yeah. Big props to them. All right, so anyways, let's get started. So the first thing we wanna do is go in and open Steam. You basically wanna just have it open for all of this because we're gonna need to do a lot of stuff with it. So yeah, just make sure you have it open. Now, the next thing we're gonna have to do is, you might be noticing, why is Cheat Engine up there? Well, you see, they added a little update to Steam where now you need to use Cheat Engine in order to get around this little barrier that they put in to stop this kind of method. But it's very simple to do, so yeah, just go ahead and download Cheat Engine. Anyways, once you have Cheat Engine, you want to go ahead and open that right up. Just gonna go ahead and click yes on that. Alright, so anyways, once Cheat Engine is opened up, you want to click this little icon at the top left that's flashing red and green. And you want to go ahead and find Steam on this process list. So yeah, there's Steam right there, so I'm gonna go ahead and click that, and just click open. Okay, so once you do that, you wanna click this little drop down box that says memory scan options, and you wanna change that. So you basically wanna press S a bunch of times on your keyboard until you find steamclient.dll. So yeah, just gonna go ahead and find that, and boom, found it right there. So yeah, just go ahead and press enter once you find that. Now the next step we have to do is right here by value type, Normally it's at four bytes, but we want to change this to array of byte. So yeah, make sure you go ahead and change that. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that this hex box right here is checked and that writable down here is unchecked. That is very important. Okay, now the next thing we have to do is right here where it says array of byte. We want to go ahead and put a little line right here and I'll have this in the description for you guys to copy and paste. Uh, but yeah, you want to go ahead and copy this and paste that right in there. This is what it should look like. But yeah, once you do that, you want to click first scan right here. And you should have this pop up right here. So yeah, once this pops up, you want to make sure you right click this. And you want to press change value of selected addresses. So yeah, go ahead and click that. Now you will get this window art right here that says you want to give the new value for the selected addresses. There will be another line that you, I want you guys to copy and paste into here. So yeah, just go ahead and go into the description and copy and paste that in. So yeah, just gonna go ahead and do that. Boom, this is what it should look like. And yeah, just go ahead and press okay. In terms of cheat engine, that's all we have to do. All right, now that we're done with that, next thing we wanna do is open up the Steam console. So yeah, press Windows key and R on your keyboard at the same time, just so you can open up the run box at the bottom left here. And you wanna go ahead and type this exactly in it. Steam colon slash slash open slash console. And then when you do that, just go ahead and press OK. And now you should have the console pop up on Steam. So now that we did the Cheat Engine thing and everything, now we can get started on downloading the older version or whatever version that we want of Beat Saber. So now what you want to do is refer to the Steam guide that I'll have in the description and scroll down a little bit and you should find right here that there's a big chart with all the versions and the manifest IDs. So yeah, whatever version you want to downgrade to, just go down and find whatever it is. So in my case, you know, the game just updated with multiplayer and all that. But I kind of want to go back to 1.11.1 .1 just so I can play with mods and all that and submit more scores. So yeah, I'm going to be downloading that one for this video. So anyway, since that's the one I want to download, I'm going to go ahead and get this manifest ID and copy that. And I'm just going to slap it right into a notepad. So yeah, I'm just going to go and paste that in. Next thing you want to do is you want to scroll down a bit more on the guide. And you want to see right here on step three, there's this line right here that says download depot with a bunch of numbers. You want to go ahead and copy that into your notepad as well, right under this. And what you have to do is you want to replace this last big number on the line with whatever manifest idea it is that you got. So I'm going to get this one right here and just basically overwrite that one. Boom, just like that. And basically now you want to just copy all of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. And you want to go into Steam and in this box down here, Paste that line and just press enter. And now as you can see, it should start downloading. There's no progress bar or anything, but it is downloading. So yeah, depending on your internet speeds, it should take a little bit, 
uh, I don't have the best speed, so it'll probably take me a little bit. So yeah, while this is going on, just be a little bit patient and just wait a little. Okay guys, so now once it's finished downloading, you should have this line pop up right here that says Depod Download Complete. So yeah, and then you'll have this file path right here, depending on wherever you save your stuff to, it'll pop up with something different. But yeah, basically what you want to do now is you want to copy this file path. So yeah, let me just go ahead and get that. And you want to just go into your file manager and just paste that into the address bar. So yeah, just going to go right there. And you should get basically a list of files, depending on whatever version you get. But yeah, here's the five files that I got for 1.11.1. Okay, so now the next thing that we have to do is actually replace the files and stuff. So yeah, what we have to do is you want to go to your Beat Saber files. And basically the way you do this on Steam is you want to go into your library. You want to go to Beat Saber. Right click on it. Properties. Go into local files. And then click browse local files. But yeah, once you do that, you should have your Beat Saber files pop up right here. This is all my stuff, as you can see. And you want to go one folder back. It will usually be called common. So you're just going to go back one. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to right click on your Beat Saber folder and rename it. So right now I'm just going to name it uh, 1.12.2 because that's my current version. I have it on right now. So yeah, right now this is the latest version of Beat Saber. So yeah, I want to keep this just in case I want to switch uh, around to like my old version or my new version, you know, just switch around in case whatever, which one I want to play, you know, in case I want to play some multiplayer with my friends or if I want to just go back and play some modded Beat Saber. But yeah, once you do that, you want to create a new folder in here and just call it Beat Saber. Just straight up Beat Saber. Because now Steam will think that this is your actual game folder and you'll see why we have to do this in a second. So now that Steam thinks that this is your actual folder, which it isn't, it's clearly empty, you want to go ahead and uninstall Beat Saber. Now, don't be afraid of this, it's not going to uninstall your actual game. As you can see, if I go back here, that folder is basically just gone now, and I still have all my stuff from before. So now what you want to do is just reinstall Beat Saber. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and install it. Okay, so as you can see, it's almost done downloading right here, so I'm just going to let it finish downloading up a little bit. There we go. So yeah, now what you want to do is go back into your Beat Saber files. As you can see, now I just have Beat Saber. Uh, basically, this is 1.12.1 since that's the latest version as of right now. But now what we want to do is basically just go into Beat Saber data right here. And you want to go ahead and delete everything besides custom levels. So yeah, just going to go ahead and get all these files and delete them all. And you also just want to go back. Okay, so now we have everything basically ready. So now you want to go ahead and open up that Depot folder or whatever that you had from before. So yeah, and now you want to go ahead and select all of these, copy it, go into your normal Beat Saber folder, and paste that in. Then when it's done pasting, it'll ask you right here if you want to replace the files. Make sure you do that, because now we replaced it with 1.11.1. .1. So yeah, now we can go ahead and run the game. All right, so now that it's running up, and as you can see, I'm on 1.11.1, .1, as you can see right here, old UI and everything. And basically now this is ready for modding and all that. So now I can go ahead and quit out. And just so you know, now I have basically 1.11.1 .1 and 1.12.1. .1. So now we can basically just go ahead and mod the crap out of the game. So I can basically just go into Mod Assistant. Now I can basically just download all the core mods. This is basically how I do it. Download all the core mods, as you can see, IPA and everything. Run the game once. And as you can see, the mods have started downloading, so song core is clearly there. And I have the mods tab right here with more songs and all of that. And I can basically just keep adding more stuff. So like, let's say I want, you know, camera plus, a bit of particle overdrive, some custom sabers. Basically, I'll just download that for this video. And yeah, just go ahead and install all of that. All right, now that we installed all of that, I want to go ahead and run the game once more. This is basically a lot of running and closing, running and closing. You know, it's going to be that process a while once you're modding the game. So yeah, it should open up here again. As you can see, I got custom sabers and all of that. All the nice sabers and stuff are in here. And now what you can basically do is go into the Beat Saber folder you already had. If you like already have stuff, you know, since you're downgrading, you'll most likely have older stuff. Uh, let's say I want to copy my custom levels over. I'm not going to do this in this video because it's a lot of songs. It's like 2000. That would just take way too long. But yeah, you can copy over your custom levels into your Beat Saber data. So like, you know, basically just drag that over. Let's say I want my custom sabers I have right now. I can basically copy that in. Oh yeah, also a uh, bit of a mistake. Copy it into the wrong folder. Do not copy it into your Depot. Make sure you copy it into your actual uh, Beat Saber folder. Uh, yeah, the one you literally just made. Okay, yeah, there we go. Go ahead and fix that up. Uh, but yeah, now I can actually copy my files over. So yeah, I can copy over, you know, maybe some 
custom sabers. Uh, if you have plugins, you can go in and copy those over too. You know, maybe I want to copy over my camera plus settings. Uh, maybe my score saver so I can keep all my replays. Uh, maybe my hit score visualizer if I can find that right there. You know, just as an example, I'm going to copy all that over. Go in and copy that. Replace the files. And yeah, basically Beat Saber is just back to 1.11.1 .1, just as I downloaded and all that. But yeah, depending on whatever version it is that you downloaded, you can basically just go back to whatever version you want. Now, just saying some versions don't have mods on it. Like if you go back to like the first few versions of Beat Saber, uh, it'll be pretty hard to find the mods for those uh, since they aren't really on GitHub and stuff anymore. But yeah, as you can see, I have my custom sabers, all the sabers I have and stuff, you know, they're all here. And if you have songs, you can go in and go into those, you know, basically you've gone back into whatever other Beat Saber version you wanted. And yeah, that's basically it for this video. So now, if you ever want to go back to the latest version of Beat Saber, all you have to do is just go back into your uh, directory right here and just name this or delete it, whatever you want. I would name this like 1.11.1 .1, and then I would rename my latest version back to Beat Saber so that now Steam thinks I want to run this Beat Saber. And if I run this now, you'll see that I will be on the latest version of Beat Saber with the multiplayer and all that. And as you can see, now I'm on the latest version. So yeah, basically that's how you switch it around. Basically just rename it to Beat Saber. Every time you want to switch to it, you know, I can go in here. Right now there's like no mods on it. That's why I'm making this video in the first place for those who want to get mods back. But yeah, that's basically about it uh if you guys have any questions or concerns make sure you let me know in the comments i will be glad to help you out you can also be sure to join my discord server i can help you out there as well we have a lot of members in there you know we're always chatting you know it's a pretty fun place to be so yeah go ahead and join in there and if you're a newcomer to this channel make sure you like and subscribe this video and also go ahead and go check out my other beats air videos i put a lot of effort into them lots of editing so yeah if you want to go ahead and check those out you know i thank you a lot for doing that anyways guys that's going to be it for this tutorial i uh, hope you guys enjoyed and i hope this was really helpful to you guys for those who want mods and all that or maybe just want to go back and you know have a bit of a nostalgia phase on the really old versions of beats there you know with all the graphics and all that but yeah that's about it guys anyways I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.